Man is back! Hi, Banana! Guess who's back? <laughs> back you again. You again! <laughs> when you were gone, I survived, but when you came back, it was your birthday. And you want to show everybody what you got for your birthday? Yeah. This is really what I've always wanted in life. Like the ring, cool, but she's not Dyson kidding. vacuum. <laughs> I gave her the birthday. I gave her the. I gave her the ring, and all we got was I'm confused. I'm confused. I gave her the vacuum, and she was like, oh. I jumped out of my yeah. seat. And was like, this is what all my dreams have come true. It came with all these different features. Like it has a mattress. Feature. Ooh. Yeah, it has all these like go under the sofa features, all these extensions. It's like really pretty awesome. Yes, <laughs> very excited about that. I already use it all over the house. Yep, very clean. Hey, she wants to clean. <laughs> Don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Also, while the Nana was gone and I was home all alone, all by myself, I did get booked for a really big voiceover gig. Uh, it's already aired. You might have seen it slash heard it. I can play a little of it. It was the introduction to the first presidential debate. In a time desperate for answers, too many merge. It's really exciting to do stuff like that, to know that, you know, tens of millions of people's, people's, people's are going to be, uh, hearing my voice and doing stuff. It's kind of one of the reasons I love being a, a voice actor and working in this booth every day. I wake up every morning excited for the opportunity that I might book something huge. Uh, I did a Super Bowl ad a while ago for Reebok. See what happens at Reebok.com after the game. Uh, I did a, a movie trailer for Uncle Drew that aired during the NBA Finals. We played that in a different episode. And also in the uh, NFL, AFC, and NFC Championship games, I did a movie trailer for Replicas that ran. And I know tons of people saw that. Replicas. Rated PG-13. Only in theaters January 11th. So yeah, I get excited every morning. I could wake up and book nothing that day, or I could book something huge that tens of millions of people are gonna be able to hear my voice, and that's kind of exciting for me. And then we go and do this weekend show, Josh, where, you know, like tens of millions of people heard me Monday through Friday, and then like, you know, like a thousand people watch the show. Is the moral of the story, like, no one wants to see my face? <laughs> Maybe it's your face. What? I find that offensive. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go take our offensive faces down to the beach. Let's do the north side of the pier today. North side? North side. That's different. It is different. Sometimes I just follow Pete, you know? He'll figure it out. Uh, go to your right. All right, we are here. We are at the beach. Hi, Hi. Hi. Brooks is here. Hi, Brooks. What up? Josh is there. I'm always here. Danny's somewhere. Where's Danny? Down here. Hi, Danny. <laughs> I love it when I do the camera work. But we're going to be heading out into the water today, doing some surfing, and actually Brooks is going to hop out there with us. Um, are you going to be like running the drone while you're surfing? I wish I could do that, but <laughs> fortunately it's not waterproof. Or no. Room, so <laughs> no, we maybe get one day they'll invent that. We got a pile of cameras though. We got a couple of uh, solo shots. We got Banana with her camera, so we'll get Brooks on film. Uh, me and Josh doing some awesomeness out in the waves. No T-bones last weekend. Uh, you gotta get one today. There's a high possibility of T-bones today. It's looking a little chaotic. A little yeah. chaotic out there? Yeah. All right. It. Well, let's give it a go. Yeah.
second you don't look, he, well, he walked right into a ball. You hit my foot, you didn't hit my face. Did you catch that? No, I didn't. <laughs> All the people that are like, you're not blind. Of course, you turn the camera on two seconds yeah, too late. I just walked right into a hole. <laughs> but I was going to say, banana. What? So did you miss me while you were gone, being able to see me like surf directly into crowds of people? I'm like, did I miss you? Like, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I got a kind of. And then the filling, the filming part, I did miss. It was weird. Yeah. So really like, now? Yeah. That is a good one. So you don't, you don't hate it as much as you pretend no, on kinda, Saturday morning? I, no, I like enjoyed having like a job. What, what? <laughs> That's good. I'll remind you. 7.30 next Saturday. I'm like, but you, you got a job. job. You said you like this. I don't know. I like. I think I like the responsibility. All right. I was just wondering what you were thinking as I was surfing directly into those three teenage girls that Josh directed oh, today? me today? Yeah. I was like, stupid <laughs> <laughs> we have been uh, celebrating Maggie's birthday for the uh, viewers that are wondering. And I've been in Boston, so I have a potty mouth. Tomorrow. Okay. Oh, uh, that's a fair point. I was, I was just riding the wave left, right. riding the wave right. left, and then all of a Stay. sudden I hear like right, screaming voices, and my fir the first words out of my mouth were, "My coach told me to go this way." <laughs> Curb. All right, we're going to go continue the birthday celebrations. But everybody out there, subscribe, come back next week. There will be more awesomeness every week on Blind Server.